my street. Sturgis, South Dakota. The home of the, uh, the motorcycle gathering every year. Office Roger, have you been here? So I just had a breakfast at a diner, first uh, eating out experience in the last two weeks. And I had an omelet with some sort of white gravy on it, which was killer. And those uh, grated potatoes that they love making here in the States. A little bit of carbs, and to reduce the carbs, I just had like one biscuit instead of a plate of toast. So that was killer. I inhaled that. I probably caused a scene. So there's a million things I could do here. I could go to Rushmore, Mount Rushmore. I, I could do, a, oh my God, it's endless. There's just, there's tons of things to see. This museum, but I'm going to just uh, walk around, take it in and do some driving. I'm gonna go a little south, uh, maybe go through a, a reservation, indigenous reservation and uh, start climbing east. I don't feel like committing to uh, a whole thing today. I don't know if you can see in the camera up on the hill here, Sturgis. It's beautiful driving in these hills. All the little country homes and stuff, it's very picturesque. Shops and bars and eateries and all kinds of everything. Must be quite the party when they have their, uh, their uh, yearly gathering. Lots of live entertainment there. Quite the setup. Okay, Sturgis, that was enough. A lot of retail, a lot of, a lot of shops, t-shirt shops, stuff like that. $30 t-shirts. If I'm gonna buy a t-shirt for $30, I'm gonna buy a good quality t-shirt that's gonna last a long time and still look good years later. Now we're gonna head out to uh, the next town, the name escapes me. They got cheaper gas there. And uh, I'm just, I'm not feeling like doing another official state park or a museum or, I'm feeling cheap, I guess. I don't want to fork out, so I just, I just want to find things. But we are going to drive in the direction of, of uh, where Rushmore is and things. And uh, I think the road goes around the state park and there could be some interesting things out there, so. Let's check it out. We're just, just random, uh, random, hopefully wandering around and see what we find. Look at the exhaust just spewing out of those locomotives, trying to get wound up. Incredible amount of fuel. Scenic South Dakota. Gateway to the Badlands. I thought I was uh, entering a different looking geography. The Badlands. Well, check this out. Scenic South Dakota. She's uh, pretty much abandoned. 
long horned second time around. Used tires, furniture, tools, toys, dolls, appliances. Wow. Is this a jail? Good grief. These must have been like little touristy shops at one time. Indians allowed Lakota use ninja. Look at all the skulls. I'm just going to assume uh, the barbed wire and the old signs, we can't go back there. Which is a shame. These must have been touristy uh, souvenir shops and stuff on the way to the Badlands. The, uh, Badlands and Rushmore and all that stuff. Tiny little trailer post office. Look at this old place. Looks like a jail. Steel doors. Whoa, it was a jail. Oh my God. Wow. Or the sheriff's office, right? <laughs> Jesus. Big steel door. Kitty cats must be living there. Tourist trap thingy. Looks like an old church. Lots of swallows. Little abandoned home there. No ticks. Ticky, ticky, tickies. Wow. Nineteen ninety one stocking. Uh, stairs. Cool. Oh, well, I'm not going in. These people do live in this town. Old garage. Jesus, I wonder what barn finds are inside of that. in pasture land here. I suspect we'll be getting into some dusty hills. Look at this grim old cinder block place.
We are officially in the Badlands National Park. I just passed some natural grasslands and now I'm coming into this valley here. It's getting interesting. It's starting to get interesting. We're on the outer limits here. And uh, all pasture land there. I'll assume maybe that's not National Park and this is. Wind's blowing, it's got a slight coolness to it, so it's like really a perfect day. Wide open spaces. I'd like to get in that stuff over there. I think we might be. More bison out there on the grassy plains. They probably look like little dots here in the GoPro. Just munching away. Robert's Prairie Dog Town. It's a popular spot for these furry little creatures. <laughs> Lots of marbly type uh, pebbles around here too. see because you can't get close but you can see all the patches where they dig holes so they're, they're everywhere it's a big population if you just stand still and look out there you'll see them bouncing around pretty neat Spectacular. I could feel my knees from the oh the recent hiking going down is horrible. Oh yeah we oh yeah we oh. Yo, yo. oh. This would be neat at uh, sunrise, even sunset maybe. Being here, it's like looking at another planet. It's wild. Holy beep. There was two when I was way over there. I guess the other one is just down a bit. Oh, he's stirring a bit. Sorry, brother. I won't bother you. I didn't want to alarm him like that. He's probably used to it.
Well, 19 more miles to get out of here. You gotta watch where you walk. Pies and pies everywhere. See? Some other YouTubers, I assume. I'll get into this sticker thing if I uh, get a little more successful. Just crawled out of the Badlands into this little village. Oh, that was a long haul across the plains. Almost five o'clock. A couple more hours, that'll be it. Vintage tow truck, a Ford 700. No rust. Wowzers. And a sister here, the bus. Old Ford bus. We got a Ford Maverick and an old Ford pickup. Just took a sidestep through the dusty prairie town of White River. Lots of old weathered stuff here. Ford Iwin's Garage V8. <laughs> Do you think that's from the 30s when the flathead V8 came out in the Ford? Could be. I lost an hour. Bloody time change. Now it's 6.30. Crap. I gotta get off the road within an hour somewhere. I did not catch the name of this town. Welcome to the big show. Historical motorcycles, antique gas, steam tractors and equipment. Oh my God, I'd love to see this. Cars, Pioneer Auto, big variety show. Come in and visit the show. Well, let's take a peek at this. Um, a Nash, wow. But a modified Nash, I don't think that's original. That's been uh, stretched a bit. Cool. Fishbowl Pacer. <laughs> There's something to see nowadays. $8,000. Six cylinder, three on the tree. Oh my word. Three on the tree. And a scout. International Scout. I love these. Utilitarian. I used to have a 79 Scout Traveler. They were longer. And had a great big 345 V8 in it. Like a, a dump truck engine, basically. And it loved fuel. And a Fiero. I've got no nostalgic feelings for that at all. Still. Okay, Car Town, whatever you're called. 
I think it's Murdu. There's a water tower that says Murdu. Murdu Lions Club. Let's say Murdu, South Dakota. Nice truck, but I cannot stand fender skirts on a truck. Whoever thought that was a good idea. And a 59 or 60 El Camino in the flesh. Super rare. Got some patina going on. Wow. Continue for half a mile. Fire Dam. Some little lake here. A uh, website I'm using to find free camping. It's about uh, four miles off the interstate that I was on. In the wide open grasslands. Oh, nice. I wonder if anybody else is camping here. Oh, there's one at least. Maybe two. Uh, we'll see. Home for the night. Got a picnic table. Got a fire pit. Got no wood though. Well, a tiny bit of wood. Lots of birdies. The sun shining. This is a great spot. Quarter to eight. We lost an hour. The time change. So let's get set up and uh, see about supper. Beef and onions again. It's gonna be like Jordan Peterson, just eat beef all the time. With the old bay spice, salt and pepper, put a little uh, olive oil margarine in this time. And uh, the last of my salad, a little bit of potato salad, a pickle, and some kimchi. Yum. needs to be a little more salty. Mmm, that's better. I might have to uh, check the lake later and see if it's clear looking, clean looking. Could be my bath tomorrow. Have another clean up. Just like today. Whew, when you go four or five days, those wet wipes, they're just not cutting it anymore. It was nice to have a shower. Coffee is brewed. My brewed instant coffee. They're not bad nowadays. They've come a long way since that Sanka days crap from the 70s and 80s. Put some cream in and uh, it works out. Don't get me wrong, I'd rather have a fresh brewed one with ground beans. What a beautiful morning. South Dakota free camping. You can even get electric there if you, uh, there's a sign. If you uh, call the finance officer, you can sign out a key to unlock that box and you can plug in your electric if you must have it. Birds are singing. I can hear I-90 out there, way out there. Today I figure we'll be in Iowa. And I got a cousin in either Wisconsin or Illinois. He mentioned something about living on the border. I, I took that as Canada, but maybe it's the border of Wisconsin and Illinois. I'll have to reach out to him today and see if I can uh, get his address, figure out a route. But I'll try and find something interesting today. On the way there. I think we're getting out of the uh, 
the Wild West feel, the Badlands, all that. I think we're going to start getting into uh, some wide open expanses like this. Prairie land, corn land, wheat land. And uh, we're going to start getting into the more eastern states. Northeastern. See what the day brings. Finish this coffee up and uh, pack her up. Ducks, ducks, ducks. I wondered about taking a bath in this because it's not freezing cold. But it's, uh, it's kind of brown looking, like, not that that's a terrible thing. Lots of rivers and lakes are murky, but this is like all farm countries. What's running in here, you know? Forget it. I'm still pretty clean from that shower yesterday anyway. Do the dishes a bit here. Done deal. All right, let's hit the road. Rusty gold. There's an old Ford Cortina, British. British car, the red one. Here's an old gas station. The building's long gone. And a Cadillac Eldorado, front wheel drive. Great big obnoxious engines in those, probably 500 cubic inch, I think they were. Cadillac engine. Front wheel drive, but ugly and brown. Old panel van. Scooby-Doo van back there. There's a short bus. Short Ford from the 70s. It's not all super old stuff. And uh, I'm not going to dig in too far because I don't want to uh, get into a trespass situation. Watch for snakes. There's an old Ford or Mercury sedan. Ford pickup truck. Got some rust going on. There's an old Pontiac, or maybe a Chevy. I might say Biscayne on it. Another Ford pickup. There's thousands upon thousands of old cars just laying around everywhere. Every state, I guess. There's a 19, early 50s. Uh, one of the last Jeep trucks. Well, let's keep uh, keep roaming around this little village here. Get back on that little side road beside the interstate. See what other neat things are out there. Redneck farm truck. Tell it like it is. Bud Light. Twisted Addiction Bell. <laughs> That's cool. Wow, it's a 56, 55 Chevy. Reliance Bar. Coors Light sign still on. Might still be open. Another old rundown, closed up shop across the street. And another one on the corner. One of those live upstairs and run your shop in the downstairs operations. What are you doing? <laughs> 
Ranchero 500. And an ugly T-bird. Chamberlain, South Dakota. All kinds of cheesy old motel signs. Lit up signs. Look at this beauty. Charlie's Restaurant and Cocktails. They should restore that. Little village of Pakwana. Pakwana, South Dakota. That was a bank. God, you get kicked the walls in. Volkswagens. I'll bet that place has a great R value. If you watch my videos and you've seen Office Rocker Oiler, he's kept in a facility like that. Super thick walls, super insulated. Kimball, Kimball, South Dakota. Look at the old weight scale. Air compressor driven pulleys. Cool. Elevator. Jesus, I just came out of that grain elevator. I took four ticks off my leg. You really got to uh, prepare, put bug spray on. These bloody ticks, I guess they're bad the more south you get. Something we gotta contend with at home too. This uh, band blades are blowing off, as you can see. So it's like a little gearbox up there, I guess. And the wind turns the shaft down into the well. I see a manufacturer stamp, uh, Backen, Gacken Manufacturing Company. I can't quite make it out. Anyway, that's a tattered house. Wow. Ticks! Holy Jesus. Any on me? Check, check, check. What do we need to go in there? Lane, South Dakota. A little sleepy, overgrown town. Shirley's Lane Cafe is pinned on Google Maps. I think it's actually still open.
I shan't venture too far into this in wound stock. I'm just going to step in here and get a shot of this with a fresh paint job, Ford 600. Looking good. here I'm gonna show you something uh, it's a massive mostly old car junkyard huge if I were cut loose in there I'd be there for days there's even RVs the highways out here I see stuff back to the 40s at least. So there'll be lots of 50s, 60s. I see 80s, I see 90s. Man, the older stuff's probably closer to the uh, buildings over there. There's a sign on the highway. It might be a body shop or something, but I don't know. Get a little freaked out just pulling into people's yards and asking to film stuff. Usually they're pretty good, but some, some people are a little nuts that you've uh, come onto their property, so. I don't know, we'll drive by and sniff it out, but I don't think so. Absolutely huge. I'd have to be covered in bug spray. The ticks would carry me off. tiny hamlet of artesian which might suggest it had an artesian well they got a newer door one time the grand old house there's the carriage house look at the sidewalk all grown in used to be a bustling little village Boy, Artesian used to have it going on. They had a full-size school. Kids get bused to a bigger town now, I guess. Wow. Let's go around back. You come around back and there's some concrete and an abandoned tractor and lawn tractor. And perhaps this suggests that uh, that was the original schoolhouse. And as the town grew, perhaps they built this. So somebody's been uh, getting in here. Whew, it's cold in here. The basement, <sighs> musty. Lawn tractor stuffed in there. Look at the big old stairway. Whoa, just rotting inside. What a waste. Wait, do they use that thing? All the asbestos and crap in there. Incredible. One little tiny village probably two or three hundred people walking another abandoned sidewalk 
all growing in. And here's another big family home. They even left their fifth wheel trailer. Just aged out and left, I guess. It's got a really good roof on it. Okay, I just don't get it. Is there I don't know, carriage house garage as well? Is there nobody that uh, can buy these when they're this straight? They haven't suffered any leakage. Somebody who wants to move to the country in a quiet little village. Boy, I'd love to go in that garage. It'd be covered in ticks. And uh, I don't want to get into a trespass situation. Lots of patina, but not rotted through. What a cute little place that was at one time. Now we're in Fedora, another little village. Cadillac. Cool. To my right, there's like a field full of stuff, just like crazy. Um, no, I can't drive there. Private property. Dang it. There's n never anybody standing around to ask. All these churches they built back in the day when everybody went to church. Lots of work for ministers back then. Presbyterian. Hugo cars from Yugoslavia back in the day. They were uh, not the greatest quality. Provisions at Walmart. Got some beer today too. I'm gonna try and have a beer, but I gotta find a place to stay. And this is Sioux Falls, North Dakota. We'll call this the end of uh, South Dakota. We're gonna find a campsite and uh, get into uh, Iowa tomorrow, heading towards the Wisconsin and Illinois border. So South Dakota, pretty cool, pretty wide open. The Badlands was amazing. Thanks for watching Out and About. I'm Cactus, and uh, join me on the next one. We might have to combine a few states, because I know uh, from the past, once you start getting into the northeastern states, the interest is uh, not as good, but there's always, always good stuff to see in any state you go to. So yeah, amazing. Washington, Idaho, Montana, uh, Wyoming, South Dakota, pretty neat. But we're gonna keep on trucking. Find a place to lay our head down tonight. Have a great night.